Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 8th to January 14th love reading. This is for the sign of Gemini. Now just take what resonates and leave the rest. Now this is a love reading. I did your general reading already. I have pre-shuffled this deck. So I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. There could be some jealousy. There could be some um, spiteful energy. Okay. There could be a breakup. Okay. There could be a breakup. Somebody could be crying over a loss. There could be feeling, you may be feeling defeated. Um, there could be a, an ending of a soulmate relationship of some sort. Um, somebody's not feeling very content. They're, they're letting go. It's like somebody's been caught in the act. I'm not sure who. Somebody has been caught or the truth has come out and now they're not going to hold on anymore. It feels like some truth has come out. There's been some kind of communication that this really wasn't love or it wasn't what you thought and it may have hurt. There's been some hurtful communication and now you've decided that you're going to walk away. You're not going to you're not going to be stuck in this situation anymore. Maybe you've uh, finally decided you're going to head down a new path. You're not going to be stuck here. It's like uh, there may have been the third party situation. You may have become aware of it or, you know, there's no more growth. You know there's no more growth. You probably have re just received word that of this betrayal, this ultimate betrayal, um, and you, you've decided that you aren't going to go down that path. You're done. You're not going down that path again. I'm done with it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, it's like, there's no more forward movement. I think that you guys have received some kind of message from somebody that sealed the deal. You know, it's, it's like, I, this has been sealed. I think something, somebody had said something to you that came across the wrong way. And so you took your sword and you've, you've cut it or you're going to cut it. It's like, you know what? you want to you want to mess with me goodbye goodbye you know it's like i'm not going to be involved with your dishonest bullshit tactics ways anymore i've been holding on thinking you were the one and i can't i'm not going to do that anymore i've reached the end of the rope we've reached the end of the rope here you know i i realized that you know it's time for me to go i have to go now there's other fish in the sea Um, I see that there's like a, a new door opening for you. Okay, look at the cards. They're falling out everywhere. There is a new door opening. There's a new door opening that may, it may seem a little chaotic, okay? This new, the thing is, is, is something is ending. Something is ending right now. And it's something that you had your heart set on. It's something that you were very much um, connected to, all right? It's like you thought this person was the one, and you probably thought this person was the one for quite a while, okay? And now you've received some harsh information that has really opened up your eyes, okay? It's, it's really bringing about this it bringing about your ability to, to look within and to do the right thing for yourself. It's like, you know what? This has caused me too much. It's caused me too much chaos. It's caused me too much disorganization. I can't do this anymore. Um, I think some kind of truth has come out that has really opened your eyes. And I think it's regarding um, another, your the person that you thought was your love and another person. Okay? I think you've become aware of something somebody else in this person's life whereas you thought that this person was going to be yours and try to work it out with you and that's not the case um could be a pisces cancer scorpio that you've been dealing with if somebody has withdrawn you know and they're being very cold-hearted it's like they're they're frozen somebody is frozen and they've said something um very hurtful uh, and now it's over. It's like, you know what? Thank you. This is exactly what I needed to move on. Thank you very much. Yep. 
yep, now I'm gonna take my time to recuperate. I'm gonna take my time to heal. And I'm moving on from the situation. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. It's, it's like a blessing in disguise, okay? I think this message, whatever it was that you received, needed to come out so that you could go down your new road. This was, it's like a time of closure. It's a time of closure, Gemini. You needed to learn this information so that, so that you could move on. Children. Oh, your general reading was about children. And this makes a lot of sense. Your love life is being affected by children. I mean, it is. I, I, I would definitely say that it is. Okay. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. Let it happen. It's time. It's time to let go of this person. I think that you guys were in a toxic situation with somebody who was never going to reciprocate fully. And you needed, whatever information came about, you needed to hear it so that you could move on and bring back your playfulness. Bring back your fire. Angel of love. This is pretty good. Tender connections. There's a reason why things happen. Trust me. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart. Hopefully you can see it. Radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward, and the compassion that you demonstrate toward yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. Remember, all of this is happening for a reason. It's bringing you closer to the one. I think that this was this, this whatever came about needed to happen so that you could allow this new love to come into your life. Whether it's a resurgence of a relationship that you're in or it's a new love period. Whatever has happened is bringing you closer to true love. That's what I see. Anyway, Gemini, this is what I have. January 8th through January 14th. Talk to you later.